everyone! Thanks for putting up with all my videos. We're almost done with the first chapter. Um, so intercepts, we probably remember. I know I keep saying we probably remember. Um, some of us, it's been years, so maybe we don't. And again, that's okay. Um, but x-intercepts are when it crosses the x-axis. So that, right, that would be an x-intercept when it goes through the x-axis. Um, because it goes through the x-axis, it means actually the y value is zero and we solve for x. And then basically the opposite for the y-intercept. It goes through the y-axis, meaning x is zero, so we set x equal to zero and solve for y. Uh, lines only have one, but different shapes could have more than one. So this will help us when we get into graphing. Um, another thing that can help us with graphing is symmetry. Um, so symmetry, there's three different types of symmetry, and we'll see in a second. Um, it's symmetric about the y-axis. So symmetric about the y-axis looks like this. Um, if I fold the y-axis, it's the same on both sides. So that would be this one. Um, and so what we do to do, check that is we plug in negative x and we see if we get the same thing. Symmetric about the x-axis would be same idea, but I fold the x-axis and I get the same thing on both sides. So in this green graph, you'll notice Right, if I fold, the left, the sides are the same, top and bottom are the same. And we'll get that by replacing y with negative y. Right, y and negative y are giving us the same x value. And then the origin, we do both. Basically, it reverts 180. So, like, x cubed is a common example. And that's by replacing both x and y. So this would be x, y, and this point would be negative x, negative y. I'll do that for all of them. So this would be x, y on top, and this would be x, negative y, right? The x isn't changing, but the y is. And then for the first one, right, the x is changed, but not the y. So x, y, and negative x, y. Um, so this can give us some shortcuts for graphing. Um, if we know symmetry, we only really have to graph part of the graph. So let's check one out. Um, we might already know what this looks like, um, but let's check symmetry using the formulas above rather than the graph. And then we can look at the graph after. Um, actually, let's do intercepts first because that's faster, and then we'll do symmetry. Intercepts. So the x-intercept is when y equals 0. So 0 equals x squared minus 4. Since it's quadratic, I'm going to factor. So we'll do x plus 2, x minus 2, because it's a, a square, difference of squares. So we have two intercepts when x is negative 2 and 2. So negative 2, 0, and positive 2, 0. Those are my x-intercepts. My y-intercept is when x equals 0, so y equals 0 squared minus 4, so y is negative 4, so 0, negative 4. So I'll plot those to help us, oops, so we can check out the graph as we do this. 0, negative 4, 1, 2, we might remember the shape of a quadratic, so we'll see in a second. But we'll see how the symmetry plays out. So let's just go in order. Let's start with the y-axis. So the y-axis means I'm going to change x to negative x. So for x squared, we're going to plug in negative x squared in parentheses because we're evaluating for negative x. We replace the whole thing with negative x. So negative x squared is the same as x squared. And so since we're getting the same exact equation, that means it is symmetric. So it is symmetric about the y-axis. And so if we remember the shape, right, we might remember on the right side it looks like this, right? So the left side looks the same. That's symmetry about the y-axis visually. And visually, we can see the others aren't true, right? The, across the x-axis, it's not the same. 
Um, but let's see how that works mathematically. So the x-axis, we're going to change y to negative y. So negative y equals x squared minus 4, which means y equals negative x squared plus 4. Um, that is not the same, so no. That would be a different graph. And the final one is the origin, which tells us to replace both. So negative y equals negative x squared minus 4. So y-axis, we change x. x-axis, we change y. And then origin, we change both. So negative y is positive x squared minus 4, right? Because any squared number turns positive. And again, we divide by that negative 1. If you didn't quite get it last time, we get negative x squared plus 4. And it's not the same. So this is also not symmetry. So it's only symmetric about the y-axis. So I'll throw the last two examples in the final video, and then we finished up chapter one.